Hello guys, Lincoln here, and today we're making a reversed tier list going through the worst heroes in the game. Um, we're going to go through seven of them. Uh, the rest are actually good in some ways, but these seven are actually terrible. And before we start, so I want to give a heads up. There's a new event tomorrow. The Admiral arrives with new rewards, the Meteor Shards, that you can spend in the Resistance Depot. And I actually tried to use the, um, uh, that I call Throne Room Cheat, where you can double the events. Uh, it doesn't work on these specific events. It would have been nice, because then you could get more of those Meteor Shards, but no, that doesn't work. So at least you know this. When it comes to uh, the worst heroes in the game, I... Uh, want to give the first place to a hero with a hat called La Croix. It's a French dude, a vampire supporter, and it says he's a supporter but he's not a healer. He has an AoE skill that um, does really he hit, hits really hard in, in an area when he shoots this attack. And I guess that could actually work together with um, Fangrim, who can use his skill to center all opon opponents. And then uh, together with Lacroix, it may it might be a good combo, but still Lacroix has to be the worst hero in the game. Uh, in my opinion, anyway. Second place will go to actually um, not an uncommon hero, but to an epic hero, Nicole Lambda. I think she is terrible and I never see anyone using her. She has some uh, things that um, she uses energy control, so it can be good, especially uh, probably good against really strong opponents, but against really strong opponents, you will just be dead anyway, so. I would say we actually have an epic hero topping the list of the worst heroes in the game. On the third place, I want to put on Bishop on that space because he has not so much to go for, actually. So, also, terrible hero. The fourth place. I uh, put Dorian there, and actually uh, some will maybe say he, he shouldn't be there. Yeah, he can actually be quite good. He has a skill that's kind of cool, where he actually can... Um, it's not that one. It's this one. Hooks and drags the enemies farthest from him, so he can actually get to those um, healers or... Um, mages and such and he had actually has a skill um he gives a, a bonus to alice when dorian is in her team he gets uh, uh, alice gets stronger but besides that i still think out of all the heroes that are here dorian has to be one of the worst then we have two heroes and it's isara and Stamatus, I think it's called that, Stamatus Abernathy, yeah. An archer and a mage. Um, the only thing they're good at uh, is this ability, decreasing the cost of purified crystals. And uh, in the same way, Stamatus decreased the cost of battery crystals. That's the only thing that they're really good at. But more, other than that, they are not that good. And on the seventh place, I want to put, uh, some won't agree with me here as well, but Sadaru. And uh, there might be actually some that are equally bad like as Sadaru, but I want to mention him. Since he's actually an epic hero and uh, a lot of players will start farming those shards in the guild shop. But... Uh, so far, I must say, is a real disappointment. 
even if I put him in the back, since I have tanks and uh, Dr. Wolfgang in the front, Sadaharu dies too fast. So he's he's not holding on. Maybe when he gets even stronger than level 80, but up to level 80, he's still terrible. But when he gets stronger, maybe if you have really good stats with dodge, if he can survive long enough, then he will be good. Then you can actually, if you can manage to find a way to make him don't die so fast, he has the poison that actually do a lot of damage, but I will put him on the seventh place just to have an epic there and get to mention him as a warning. Uh, might not be the best hero to spend too much shards on. Then you actually have a lot of other uncommon heroes that are actually much better than him. So the ones I have not mentioned that are actually good it's Altine because it's a healer who actually can do strong heals and there are not that many healers that actually heal like Lacroix doesn't heal, Nico Lambda doesn't heal. And then we have two tanks that are uncommon but they're actually really good. Grim and Khalil should not be taken lightly. They are really powerful and worth to six star. And the same goes with Birsha von Miramoth, that will be the next hero that I will talk about because he is insanely strong actually and in par with legendary heroes with his uh, lifesteal uh, skills or abilities uh, makes him a really really good hero to be using. So as you can see it's not always uncommon heroes that are the worst. In the second place I put an epic, Nicole Lambda, and on the seventh place another one. So be careful with these seven heroes and then we'll discuss the rest soon. Take care guys. Bye.